Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Today, in statistical mechanics, we are going to discuss about second tetrod equation. We have already discussed about ensemble, and different types of ensembles are canonical ensemble, micro canonical ensemble, and also about grand canonical ensemble. And also, we have discussed about ideal gas in micro canonical ensemble. Now, second tetrod equation. So let's start. Second tetrod equation. The second tetrod equation is an expression for the entropy of a monoatomic ideal gas. So this is actually the expression. Of the entropy of a monoatomic ideal gas. Thus, in this case, we determine the expression of entropy for Boltzmann's gas, that is, an ideal gas in microcanonical ensemble. For it, we consider a system of n distinguishable particles, and the distinguishable elements are divided into group such that n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n i equal to n and this n is the total number of particle whereas n1 n2 and n3 are the number of particles in level 1 level 2 level 3 and so on or n equal to sigma i n i also, the total energy of the system remain constant. It means the total energy equal to sigma i n i e i. Here, n i are the number of particles in energy level i and e i is the energy corresponding to that particular energy level. By Using different statistics, we get Ni bar is equal to Gi divided by Z raised to minus 1, E raised to beta Ei minus plus 1. This is the expression for Bose and Fermi gas. And if the gas is Boltzmann's gas, then Ni bar equal to Gi Z E raised to power minus beta Ei. This expression we have determined in our last lecture and the link of that lecture is given in description box. Here, Ni bar is actually set of occupation number that maximizes WNI bar. And what is WNI? WNI is the total number of ways to obtain Ni or eigenstate for the whole system. Therefore, for Boltzmann's gas, n i bar equal to g i z e raised to power minus beta e i which is clear from here and since n is equal to sigma i n i and n i is this one so n equal to z sigma i g i e raised to power minus beta e i or in terms of momentum n is equal to z sigma p e raised to power minus beta e p. Here e p is equal to p square by twice m. So this is the value of total number of particles in momentum space. Now n equal to z sigma p e raised to power minus beta e p. Here we replace sigma p by v by h cube integration d3 p and e p equal to p square by 2 m. So if sigma p is replaced with this one and e p is replaced with this one then n equal to z v upon h cube integration 0 to infinity d3 p and what is d3 p? d3 p equal to d p into 4 pi p square into e raised to power minus beta p square by twice m because e p equal to p square by twice m. So 
the value of n will be this one or this will be equal to zv upon lambda cube and here lambda equal to root of 2 pi h cross square upon mkt case Boltzmann's constant t is absolute temperature and this wavelength is actually thermal wavelength so n equal to zv upon lambda cube this wavelength is of the order of de Broglie wavelength of a particle of mass m and energy kt since n equal to zv upon lambda cube so if we find the value of z from here then z equal to n into lambda cube upon v so z equal to lambda cube n upon v and since a small v equal to capital V by n so capital V equal to a small v into n so if we replace this capital V by a small v into n then this n and n will be cancelled out so z equal to lambda cube upon v since total energy equal to sigma i n i e i and n i bar equal to g i z e raised to power minus beta e i so if we substitute this n i by this one then e equal to z sigma i g i e i e raised to power minus beta e i and n p bar equal to z e raised to power minus beta e p so if we write e in terms of p then e equal to z sigma p e p e raised to power minus beta e p and now we replace this sigma p by v by h cube integration d3 p so if we replace sigma p by this one and also d3 p by dp into 4 pi p square then e equal to z v by h cube integration 0 to infinity dp into 4 pi p square and what is ep ep is equal to p square by twice m and also we replace this ep by p square by twice m so exponential minus beta p square by twice m so the total energy will be this one and on solving this equation we get e equal to 3 by 2 nkt for both gas the value of s upon k was this one for fermi gas its value was this one and for Boltzmann's gas s upon k equal to z sigma i g i e raised to power minus beta e i into beta e i minus log z from here for Boltzmann's gas s upon k equal to z sigma i g i e raised to power minus beta e i into beta e i minus log z now the value of s upon k in momentum space or in terms of p z sigma p e raised to power minus beta e p beta e p minus log z now we multiply this term with z sigma p e raised to power minus beta e p so s upon k equal to beta z sigma p e p exponential minus beta e p minus z sigma p exponential minus beta e p log z now s upon k is this one and n equal to z sigma p e raised to power minus beta e p and also e equal to z sigma p e p exponential minus beta e p so we replace this bracket by e and this is replaced with n so s upon k is beta e minus n log z and since e equal to 3 by 2 nkt 
and beta equal to 1 upon kt. Also, z equal to lambda cube n upon v. So, we replace this z by lambda cube n upon v. E by 3 by 2 n kt and this beta by 1 upon kt. So, s upon k equal to 1 upon kt into 3 by 2 n kt minus n log lambda cube n upon v. Now, kt and kt will be cancelled out and since thermal wavelength lambda equal to root of 2 pi h cross e square upon n kt. So, this lambda is replaced with this one and therefore, s upon k equal to 3 by 2 n minus n log n upon v and this lambda is replaced with this one. So, 2 pi h cross e square upon n kt power 3 by 2. So, s upon k is this one and this equation is known as second tertiary equation. Here we end our session. In today's session, we have discussed about second tertiary equation. Goodbye.